Yeah, hi, this is Dave. As you can see, my wallpaper based on Halo, which is stealing, but never mind that. Um, without any further introductions, fire up Blender. And look at this, I have one nice scene, okay? So never mind that, go into top view. If you have, add a plane down, okay? But I already have a set, so I don't need a plane, because I think one step... Um, actually, it's one quarter of step ahead of you, but never mind. Just go with this one. Okay, so add an icosphere. Icosphere. How the hell do you pronounce that? Hmm, never mind. Guess I won't be using it. Okay, uh, move it to the bottom. Okay, so it looks like it's fixed there. Okay, and first thing you might want to do is switch the render engine because otherwise you won't get those things that are called chaostics, I think. Or, as I heard somebody saying, caustics. But never mind, you call it whatever you want, I call them concentrated beams of light. Like when you pour some water into a glass or magnifier. I actually forget that last one, you don't get a magnifier into a glass, but never mind. Yeah, Ray. Okay, disable the oversampling. Shadows as well. No, ray tracing must be active, I think. Yeah, I think. Okay, so move to Yeah, Ray in this tab. Hang on. That's nice, okay. Disable this XML. It should be disabled, okay. Auto and anti-aliasing should be on, as well as clamp red green blue and now depending on how many processors you use well I I have one physically but I hacked it to look like two if you don't trust me trust this oh, okay two windows two CPUs although it's not dual core don't ask me how it happened anyway um, go out a bit with the zoom out like this and now switch to Yafray GI, which stands for uh, Global Illumination, I think. Okay, so method, switch to full. You know, you might want to do this, I think. And quality, this is the um, AO settings, I think, yeah. And so dropping, oh no, no, that's another thing. Um, ambiental occlusion, I think it's called, yeah, that one. Okay, so switch to none, because you won't be using that. And um, enable cache and photons. This should help a lot. Count, I don't know how you, you pick, okay? I don't care too much. And leave it like this, okay? So now, let's go with the proper material for the sphere. F5 materials. Add a new one. <coughs> And let's go with green, sea green, yeah, like this, it's nice. Oh, by the way, do not set smooth, okay? Do not, this is weird, but do not now. This is strictly for not smooth. Okay, go into mirror or transparency, select ray transparency, and let's go with the alpha 0 0.2, looks nice. But there's no gloss effect yet, so we'll go with IOR, which stands for Index of Refraction, and let's set to 1.26. I think that's water. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I I'm not. Okay, so yeah, uh, you are going to render now, but you won't notice anything. Okay, no beam of light going from the sphere. That is because nobody shoots photons. And by the way, uh, I should decrease the energy a bit for this lamp. Duplicate it. And set to photon, okay? Photon lamp. And make it aim for the sphere. Control T when on the sphere. Never mind, you'll find it out later. So, uh, in the options you have Yafray, yeah, shadows and photons. So the angle is 45, let's set it to um, 36 degrees, nah, even less. 
Um, 25. That's good enough. And search if you have multiple objects emitting, you know, caustics, I think. Uh, depth, you should set this to at least, at least two. This is how many bounces uh, will be in the object. And blur, this will be important um, and you'll see why later. Okay, so let's set to point 0.2 without any other effects. White, okay. So let's uh, get the camera fixed. And render. And you notice this ghost kind of thing. That's what happens when concentrated light hits uh, another object, okay? So this is how it should look like, okay? So I know, let's increase the photons. Hell, let's go with 100k. Actually, now thinking of it is... Uh, it's kind of nasty, yeah. Let's reduce blur to 0.1. And if your computer crashes, oh, well... I'm sorry. Mine didn't crash, so it's nice. Yeah. Let's go with um, over sampling shadows. And by the way, you can get Yafray. It's free at www. Dot Yafray, which is spelled Y A F R A Y. Dot org. Okay. So you can download it, install it, and put it into Blender. Actually, you don't have to put it, you just have to enable it from this thing. Okay, so let's rotate this with an animation, okay? So you're on frame 1, you're at the start, the beginning, the Olympic fire. Never mind, I'm not good at comparisons. So press I, and you'll notice a pop-up. So for this I'm going to use just the rotation effect, okay? Insert rot rotation only. Now, advance um, 75 frames like this and rotate your sphere via the Z axis. Let's go with 180. Press I again and rotate like this, okay? So if you switch to IPO vision, you'll see a spike. Actually, it's not a spike, it's an increase only. So from this degree moved in here. So again, let's preview like in other tutorials, I think. Alt A, and it should move. We yeah, nice. Okay, let's reduce the oversampling, out with the shadows. Um, Mr. Photon might want to take back a bit. 10,000 photons. Blur, leave it as it is. Render. And you notice it's kind of nasty, creepy actually. But what can you do, eh? So, you know, you can toy with these settings these are the main settings okay go into sequence editor if you want add the scene no bloom this time because it's got already a nasty effect called no it's too bright okay so you won't be needing any bloom at all and it renders and renders and renders and all that stuff and you're happy and I'm happy and my 10 minutes are almost out okay not exactly out so anyway see ya bye bye